Sabeel, you pitched a story about a new mode of transportation coming to Secaucus from West Virginia. What do you got? Secaucus is on its way to becoming the Silicon Valley of mass sustainable transportation. The concept and design comes from two West Point grads who I met in Secaucus in front of City Hall. The advantages of this system is that it does not rely on oil at all. It's all solar energy. I'm a West Point grad and an infantry veteran. And in 1998, we looked at it and said, we've been fighting oil wars since 1990, and we're going to continue to fight oil wars so long as we fund the bad guys with our purchasing of their oil and stay addicted to buying their oil. So as you can see here in this video, there's a rail that's suspended in the air and you see what are yellow boxes. Those are J-pods that people would be able to ride from Frank Lauterberg train station mm -hmm. to MetLife Stadium. I thought this concept was really cool. I thought it was really interesting and we figured we'd give them a shot. It's not a train, they're individual pods. So each one person gets one pod, is that how it works? It can seat as many people as a car. So one or five people get okay. into a pod, but you all go to the same destination. Once you get off your destination, then the pod's available and whoever else wants to ride the pod can get in. Well, it looks kind of like a bicycle with a, with a cover over it, right? The one that you rode around in. Well, the so one I does rode it rely on your own power? What I rode around in is a model that will be okay. tweaked and improved and made more safe when it will actually be put on a suspended rail to go across Secaucus will in they, the air. Are they going to develop doors? Because it looks but, like it might be cold. Well, the model that I was yeah. in is solar powered. So there's a solar panel on top of it, okay. and you just push a button and it moves on its own but you can also pedal it if you choose to. You know what's really revolutionary to get from Secaucus train station to MetLife Stadium? The multi-hundred million dollar train that NJ Transit built out there already right. that exists that I'll be taking to opening day on Sunday. Why don't you put it somewhere where they don't already that's have a, a mode of transportation? Point. I absolutely love this and I love that it's solar paneled. I think that it's just in the wrong place because if this was going over the Hudson River and it was creating a solution, an alternative to, you know, the tunnels or the bridges during storms yeah. and, and, you know, flooding, things like that, and it was an alternative to that sort of congestion, we would be raving about this. But because it's taking passengers to a Jets game, right. we're like, what's the point? Sounds like a neat idea, but again, the practical implementation is what matters. So we'll see.